Hi, it's time for Learning with Literacy. Today's book is called The Day Abuelo Got Lost by Deanne, Diane DeAnda. Abuelo has lived with me and Poppy all my life. The four of us always have been La Familia. After school, before my parents got home from work, was Abuelo's and my special time together. We built model planes, cars, and boats on the work table in the garage. This piece goes here, Luis, Abuelo said. Then he smiled as he watched me glue it into place. Sometimes Abuelo spread paper across the work table and we painted together. I painted houses and trees and Abuelo put in all the people. Here's your mama with her long hair and your poppy with his hat. Here I am with my mustache and there you are, Luis, with your big smile, he said. Sometimes he drew our big brown dog, Sancho. Afterward, Abuelo made quesadillas for us to snack on. He laughed when I nibbled on the cheese that oozed out over all my fingers. Then he told me stories about his adventures with his dog, Cafe, when he was little boy in Mexico. After a while, Abuelo couldn't remember how the pieces fit together, so we stopped building models. But we still painted, side by side. Then Mama said we couldn't use the stove anymore because Abuelo kept forgetting to turn it off. So we made peanut butter and jelly sandwiches together instead. Tell me a story about you and Cafe, I begged. Abuelo started telling his stories, but would get confused and stop in the middle. He'd wrinkle his forehead and think really hard. Then look around and put Sancho, pat Sancho on top of his head and say, good boy, cafe. We still painted on the workbench together, but he called me Chico instead of Luis. I wanted to say, Abuelo, don't you remind, remember my name is Luis? But I didn't. One day when I came home, Abuelo was not there. I looked in the garage and I called for him all through the house, but he didn't answer. Mama talked to the neighbors, then stayed home and waited for him. Poppy and I got in the car and drove up and down the streets looking for him. We found Abuelo on a corner a few blocks away, looking all around. He looked upset and called Poppy, Senor, instead of Hijo. Everything changed the day Abuelo got lost. Now he stays in a different house during the day with other abuelos and abuelas and people who take care of him so he won't get lost again. But at the end of the day, Poppy brings him home. Abuelo is tired and falls asleep for a while in his chair when he gets home. Mama covers him with a quilt. Sometimes when he wakes up, he looks upset and isn't sure where he is. But Mama talks to him in a soft voice until he feels better. Then I take his hand and say, let's paint, Abuelo. He looks down at me and smiles, and we walk together to the workbench. I hand him his paintbrush. He nods and says, gracias, Chico. Mama says, Luis, Abuelo will have more and more trouble remembering things and recognizing people, maybe even you, but he'll always be able to feel our love. So I pick up my paintbrush and sit next to him. He smiles and we paint together. Abuelo and me is Chico. If you like our story, please like and subscribe to our page and check out our other multicultural stories, our other thought-provoking books under those playlists.